You all know what time it is. It's time, it's time to learn. Superhero masks with Mr. B. Warning. Please be sure to ask a parent or guardian before trying to make a mask on your own. I want you to be respectful, responsible, and safe. So make sure you get some help or make sure it's okay to make a mask before you do. Let's begin by making some glue water. To mix up glue water, first you need to have five spoonfuls of glue in a container. Then you carefully stir two scoops of water into the glue. Mix it up carefully. The masks we're going to build are going to be made out of paper plates. Paper plates work remarkably well to make masks with. All we need to do is cut the bottom out and make some holes and stuff for the eyes and the string. The way to begin building a mask is to fold the paper plate in half. Then draw a curved line on one half of the mask for the opening of the mouth. Also, draw in the shape of the eye that you want. Keep the paper plate folded in half and then use a scissors to cut along the lines that you made. To cut inside of the eye hole, what you should do is gently crease the paper and then make a tiny slit with the scissors to fit your scissor blade in the slit, just like I'm showing you. Once you've cut out the eye and the mouth, then you can open the mask back up to see how it fits. Boy, that fits pretty nice. How about that? It's time to learn. Next up, we're going to add some details to your masks. I'm going to save and use my plate scraps to build the parts of the mask that are not flat, like the parts that stick out. And I'm going to tape those on there securely using my tape. Everybody's mask is going to have different details to it. This is just how mine will look. Then I'm going to put a couple of pieces of tape down where I poke the holes in. And using a sharp pencil, I'm going to carefully poke a hole through the plate. You don't have to push very hard to do this. And make sure your fingers aren't on the back so you don't poke yourself with the pencil. So what you do next is you take a couple of little pieces of string. I'm using just scrap pieces of yarn. And you go through the hole you just poked. Make sure that you tie it before you move on so it doesn't pull out again. I also tie a little knot on the other end of my string so it doesn't unravel when I wear it, my mask. Then I do the same thing on the other side. I take a piece of yarn and I poke it through and tie it. And then I tie the other end so it doesn't unravel when I wear my mask. Then I put the mask on to make sure it fits comfortably around my head. I want to make sure that it doesn't affect how I breathe or how I can see. It has to be comfortable or else it won't be fun to wear. It's time to learn. Next I'm going to add foil to build out from my mask. I'm going to build the things that stick out, like the little bumps on both man's mask and his AM radio antenna. Then I'm going to check to see if it fits okay. Yep, fits okay to me. It's time to learn. Now it's time to start building up the the glue water and paper towel layer. To do this, you got to rip a bunch of paper towel 
Usually it takes about one or two pieces of paper towel to cover a mask. You're going to want to rip your paper towel into little squares about the size of a quarter. If you make them too big or if you make them too small, they get really hard to add to your mask. Remember, the way to add the paper towel and glue water layer is first paint down the glue, then put down a paper towel, and then paint over top of that paper towel with a little more glue. That will make the texture of your mask smooth. It will also help the paper towel stick to the mask. If your paper towels go a little further than your paper plate does on your mask, that's okay. Just make sure that you're doing your best to keep the paper towel around the mask. A little bit is okay, but if you do too much of the paper towel hanging off your mask, it gets kind of hard to trim off later. If you have dried glue and paper towel hanging off your mask, it will make it not as comfortable to wear. Once you have your paper towel layer done, then you lay it flat on a surface to dry. It's time to learn. When your mask is dry, you're going to see that when it dries, sometimes it likes to curl a little or kind of like peel up. So I find it's a good idea to try it wearing your mask again and just kind of like form it around your head how you want it to feel when you wear it. Try to make it comfortable again. Then go around your mask and trim off all that extra paper towel that's hanging off. You don't want any of that to touch your skin because it's scratchy. Before I paint, I'm going to tape my mask over top of something. In this case, it's a towel to get it to kind of stick out. So when it dries this time, it'll dry in a way that will form around my face. So when I wear it, it will be comfortable. Then I'm going to add a base coat of a color. This case, the base coat I added was yellow. Base coat just means first layer of paint. It is the main color of the mask that you want to use. Your base coat doesn't have to be just one color, but just know that if you're painting on top of wet paint, the colors that you put together will mix a little bit, so it won't be like a perfect color anymore. I wanted my mask to be mostly yellow, but then I wanted it to look like it's kind of rusty, so I added some orange and then a little bit of brown on top. I'm not going to add more than three colors to my base coat though, because if you put too much paint on there, it gets kind of cracked and it won't look very good. Time to learn. Now that my base coat is dry, I'm going to take my mask off of its form and kind of feel it and curl it around and get it ready for the finishing touches. Once you think you're ready for it, then it's time to do the finishing touches. We're going to add finishing touches with some paint and some glue water and some foil. To add the foil, I'm first going to cut out a bunch of shapes that I want to put on my mask. Then I'm going to put a little glue water on the foil itself before I stick it on my mask. So then it will stick to the mask. Because foil likes to hold its shape, and if you put glue water on top of the foil, it dries kind of strange, I'm just going to put the glue water on the bottom of the foil and then I'm just going to take my fingers and smush the foil on my mask so it fits nicely and it won't fall off. 
If while you're putting the foil on your mask, you see parts of it that are sticking up, what you need to do is take that glue water and kind of gently go underneath and paint it down smooth so you know when it dries it'll stick tight to your mask's surface. What's kind of neat about this part is once your foil is glued down, you can actually paint on top of the foil and let your paint dry like that. It looks pretty good. I'm going to add all of my last finishing touches with paint. For my mask, I'm just going to kind of go around the edge of the foil with some black to blend it into the mask and then just add a couple of spots here and there to make my mask look like it's rusty. Then let your mask dry. Once it's dry, then you can put it on and wear it around. Just remember to be safe. Well, I sure hope you enjoy making your superhero masks. Goodbye. Watch out.